Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 16. And in this video, we are going to continue talking about the CSS box model. And in particular, I'm going to be talking about the border property of our CSS box model. So I'm actually using code from the previous tutorial over here. And if you guys obviously don't know what padding and that kind of stuff is, you need to go back, watch the previous video, and then come back and you will be up to date to watch this video. Okay, so there are three different properties that we're going to work with uh, when putting a border on our web page. Okay, and like I said, a border is basically just a decorative pattern around the outside of our uh, box okay so the first property that we can work with is the border style and this is basically what do you want your border to look like and there are a few different options that you can put in here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in solid so that's just gonna give us a solid border but then there's also dotted dashed ridge inset and outset and a few others so I'm going to leave a list in the description of the video below and you guys can go ahead and just try them all out and see what they all look like then the second property that we're going to work with is going to be the border width and this is obviously how wide or how big you want your border so I'm going to go ahead and just put in uh, five pixels and then we've got the border color so this is just what color do you want your border to be and I'm gonna go ahead and just type in blue over here now when we save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh we have a five pixel wide blue border that is solid all the way around our uh, box okay and just so you guys can get an idea of what some of the other styles look like, let's go ahead and try out dashed. And uh, if we go ahead and refresh, now you can see we've got a dash border, which kind of makes it look like that we should have cut it out with a scissors, you know, like those patterns on plastic wrappers and things that you buy. I don't know. Okay. So uh, there's that kind of look. Uh, then you've also got dotted which we'll try out now as well. Go ahead and click refresh. And that's just like a bunch of dots. So those are a few of the different styles, but you guys can go ahead and try the rest out. Like I said, there will be a list in the description below. Um, but now this actually does look a little bit tedious because this means that every time we want to put a border around something on our web page, there are three lines of code involved. And uh, just like all the other properties that I've shown you guys in the past, there is actually a shortcut to doing this, okay? Instead, we just have to put in the property of border, and then we go ahead and put in the size. So we'll go put in the size of one pixel, and then we'll put in the pattern or the type style. So let's go ahead and say, uh, uh, let's go try a ridge out and then the last thing would be the color which let's just change that to red so I think one pixel is actually a little bit low you're not really gonna be able to see that so let's go ahead and make it about three pixels okay uh, and now when we go back and click refresh you can see we've actually got this uh, three pixel wide border around our header now except it's actually in the ridge style which doesn't actually look too great in this color you can't really see it uh, maybe if I made it a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and make that eight pixels click refresh uh, and as you can see that's a lot more clearer okay so that's that's what the ridge border looks like uh, and again there might be some times where you don't want a border all the way around this box, okay? So sometimes you might only want a border on the top or a border on the bottom or a border on the top and the bottom or something, but not on the left and the right. Uh, we can go ahead and do that as well. So if we clear this out, we can just 
type in border top. So this means that we'll put a border on the top and we can choose that to be four pixels, uh, solid green. And we can also just for interest sake, put one on the bottom. So border bottom and uh, we'll make that eight pixels groove and uh, let's try orange I guess if I can spell orange right one day hopefully <laughs> okay cool let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we now have a green solid border on the uh, whoops daisy I clicked on something I shouldn't have okay so we've got a green solid border on the top of our our box and then we've got an orange grooved border on the bottom so that's how you guys deal with borders and that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one